AWS is a public cloud to rent digital services on demand and CloudWatch is one such service that allows you to monitor stuff in AWS. Since yesterday, this CloudWatch service has become AI powered and now you can do your CloudWatch investigations into the root cause of various issues with the help of AI and that is the topic of this video. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can enable and configure CloudWatch investigations in your Amazon CloudWatch service in AWS account. Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring and observability service that provides data and actionable insights into monitoring the applications, responding to system-wide performance changes, and optimize resource utilization in AWS Cloud. The newly launched CloudWatch investigations feature, which is now generally available in almost every region, enhances this by introducing AI-driven troubleshooting capabilities. It helps detect anomalies, correlate related operational signals, generate a root cause hypothesis, and even suggest remediation steps using AWS documentation and system manager runbooks. This significantly accelerates issue resolution, which reduces MTTR by allowing users to launch investigations directly from dashboards, alarms, or even Amazon Q chats. It supports collaboration across teams, integrates with tools like Slack and Microsoft Teams, and is available at no extra cost in multiple global AWS regions, which is quite handy. So let me take you to my AWS cloud. You can also have a free AWS account with some of the credits if this is the first time you are using it. So you can see that I am already logged into my AWS account and I am in United States, North Virginia, US East one region. You can select any region of your choice. On the left hand side, if you look closely, the first top uh, uh, topic is AI operations. From here, just click on overview. And this is where you can configure this for the account. So just click on this orange button. This is the first step you need to do. You can also um, configure retention and lot of other stuff here. Let me make the screen a slightly bigger. By default, it goes for 90 days and minimum you can set it for seven. But of course, the more the retention, the more the cost. If you are using um, your customer managed key for your account or any other KMS key, you can also encrypt it, which is again an advanced option, but I'm just going to leave it as is. I would highly recommend that you also go with auto create a new role with this default investigation. Otherwise, you would just have to go into the Rigma role of your IEM and its policy. So I'm just going to click on create investigation group here. And it is going to create this investigation group, which will contain everything which we need. And the investigations are now enabled in our account. As you can see here, you can also go with some additional configuration, but let's leave it uh, for now. Now from here, you can just create another investigation or you can try a sample investigation just to learn it. So I'm just going to click on this, try a sample navigation and this is telling us what is happening so for instance an, an alarm has gone off and we have auto created an investigation the cloudwatch investigation has started to explore different nodes in our application and started to make some suggestions for us to consider in the investigation so let's do the walk through here so i'm just going to click here now you see that this is a sample investigation here where uh, there is a lambda function which is making multiple calls to another NoSQL serverless database DynamoDB and these calls or maybe API calls are taking long time so there is a lot of latency there 6000 millisecond for just a put item operation which is an insert operation function is not failing but it is just taking so long so you see um, John Doe or JD, which is a short for John Doe, has this observation where it, these are different timestamp for the same uh, put item. Now you see that this is observation again added 
by John Doe here that what exactly has caused this alarm. Now the real magic happens on the right hand side where you can see that there are some action items or suggestions as you can see here you can also add more and you can also filter them down where uh, it is just observation or there is also a hypothesis alongside with that so you see it is telling us that dynamodb uh, is experiencing this execution failure and then this issue has been triggered by this this and that and that is why it is affecting the probability now there is one action so you can also accept it or reject it maybe i'll just accept it and then once you have accepted it there is another one where that um, this event was modified by right traffic you can reject it or accept it if it makes sense and then from here this is the observation around throttling i'm just going to reject it just for the sake of it so there are no more suggestions so now basically it has helped us in uh going into the root of this issue which we already accepted so this is what investigation is all about instead of you poking through you know hundreds or maybe thousands of cloudwatch events and logs and stuff this behind the scene ai checks all the logs and then it gives you your suggestions you can accept it or you can reject it now if you want to create your own then just click on investigations on the left hand side from here you just click on create investigation maybe you will say i want to create it from log inside or metric or, or alarm normally i think the best uh, sense which i would say uh, would make that you have a lambda function for instance it is creating lot of logs and you will point your investigation to those log insights and then it is going to ask you to select your logs i don't have anything running in this account but i hope that you got the point that this is the log inside you can also generate query and then you can run your query it will do all the findings and then it will give you the suggestion on the basis of it so that is the whole idea behind it now i'm trying to find any cost associated with it but i really couldn't find any uh, proper cost with it so maybe you can check the aws calculator i think it will be more of like around the you know logs you use metrics you use around that uh, that should be a cost or maybe it will appear in your cloud watch billing in aws budgets anyway um so there are limited services where you can do these investigations uh, so it would be thankfully aws lambda i think that is where it makes more sense it could be amazon ec2 ecs which is uh, the amazon's uh, you know the cluster services the docker ones and then fargate dynamodb s3 kinesis data firehose api gateways uh, sqs and um, sns so uh, ecs is amazon container services there are so many services i keep forgetting what they stand for anyway i think if i would be using it and i think i will it would be for the lambda functions and their logs um, in my production environment that is where it makes sense but i will be also cognizant of the cost there but really good feature i just wanted to share it with you fairly easy to configure and use but i think there are far-reaching um, impacts and i think it's not such a good news for aws support because i think instead of raising a case where you would ask aws support to go through the logs with you and all that stuff i think it will uh, enable you empower you to do a lot of investigations on your own so interesting times ahead let's see how it goes let me know your thoughts on it i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and you will find the link to their website in video's description please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot Thank you for watching.